Welcome to the chapter How much do these bottles hold? This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to discuss the quantity of water that is less or more than a liter. Estimate the amount of water that can be filled in different objects. Classify the difference between liters and milliliters. Subdivide the liters into milliliters. Introduction In our daily life, we always use a water bottle to drink water and use a cough syrup when we catch a cold. Have you ever noticed how much does that bottle hold? Let us find the answers to these types of questions in this chapter. Let us start with an activity with the prior knowledge. Select the appropriate radio button whether the particular thing holds less than a liter or more than a liter. Now we see the quantity of water held by different things. Here are some containers which can hold water according to their sizes. The water bottle holds around 1 liter or above. The bucket holds around 20 liters or above. The water can holds more than 20 liters. The syrup bottle holds less than a liter. The water tank holds more than 100 liters. Take up an activity to estimate the quantity that the containers can hold. Here we see the containers that can hold less than a liter. In our daily life, we see many things around us which can hold less than a liter. Those that hold liquids less than a liter are a spoon, a syringe and a syrup cap, etc. The quantity which is less than a liter would be represented as milliliters or ml. Take up an activity to estimate whether the items take in milliliters or liters. Select the appropriate radio button whether the particular thing holds less than a liter or more than a liter. Let us see what a liter is by doing a lab activity. Click each tab to know more. The main aim of this activity is to find how many milliliters will make a liter. Take an empty 1 liter bottle. Now take a small bottle which can hold around 250 milliliter of water. Fill the 250 ml bottle with water and pour the same into the 1 liter bottle. Now fill the 250 ml bottle and pour the same into the 1 liter bottle. Repeat the same till the 1 liter bottle fills up. We have observed that 4 bottles of 250 ml are required to fill a 1 liter bottle. This shows that a 1000 milliliters make a liter. We conclude that a liter consists of a 1000 milliliters. Now, 
We do an activity on how many bottles would be required to make a liter. Let us see some exercise problems. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have seen how much water the objects can hold. We have also learned the differences between liters and milliliters. Discussed in detail how the sum of milliliters can form a liter. Practice zone. Try to solve the problems in the practice zone on your own. Click the solution tab for your reference. Follow up work. Save water. Is there a tap in your home, school, or surroundings from which water is leaking? Put a 1 liter bottle under it and find out how much water fills in one hour. If the tap continues to leak for one day, how much water would be wasted? If the tap continues to leak for one week, how much water would be wasted? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter, How much do these bottles hold?